going on guys your boy tactics chill my cousin on our way to the bdx studios to do some uh whoa what, what is it that we're doing today guys? we're practicing for a step up 3d promo that we're going to be dancing at you see clients they call on this man called d sean byfield and like listen we're doing this uh we're doing this promo for a movie launch i think it's going to be the dvd launch or some kind of promotion for the movie and they know the man to call, which is Deshaun Byfield. Yeah, he and, does big uh, things, man. He does big things. But lately, my wingman game has been on point. Yeah. And that was the first, that girl from West was the first time I ever pulled a sick wingman mission. We went all the way to this house in Scarborough. Yeah. And it was this pool party out of nowhere just to hang out with this girl. Mm -hmm. I'm like, all right, I'll back you up. Come on, let's go. Let's go hang out with this girl. And so, you know, she's flirting with him in the pool all night long, you know, and I'm holding off the other people because there's some stupid drunk people. Like, there's this one guy so drunk, comes up to me, he's like, listen, you're black, so you want to marry a white woman, right? I'm like, well, no, like, there's, there's well, well, I, I'm, yeah. I'm an equal opportunity, you know, you know I'm an equal opportunity lover, you know, I'm, I'm all about diversity. He must have thought you were talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> And so, yeah, so he's like, yeah, yeah, I know you, you know, you ain't gonna turn down some booty, but, like, your highest upper echelon woman is, like, a white woman, right? <laughs> and I was like, yeah, sure, why not? He's like, yeah, see, I told you, I told you, starts talking to the other friends, and his other friends are just shaking their head, and then some of them are laughing, some of them are shaking their head. That's okay, because then some other girls came over to apologize to me on his behalf, and then started flirting with me in the pool, but that's, we're not talking about me. <laughs> we're talking about Wes. So Wes is flirting with this girl all night. And so we didn't come, we didn't know it was a pool party, so we didn't come with no pool gear. But we had on shorts. So we went swimming in our shorts and dried off with our t-shirts. So all our clothes are wet right now. And we're, it's time to go. And so are the ladies. So right? are the ladies. Yeah, yeah. So are the ladies. So we're so our, there's a random neighborhood in Scarborough. We go out to the car. Wes is driving. I get in the passenger seat. All of a sudden the back door opens up and this girl just jumps in the back seat. And I look at her, and I look at Wes, and I look back at her, and I say, would you like me to take a jog around the block? And then she just nods her head. So I'm shirtless in Scarborough in 4 a.m. Just I take a jog around the block. Because if I go back in the house, the girl's going to jump me again. And I'm not, like, some of the guys were eyeing me down, so I'm not sure which one of these Gs have a boyfriend. I'm not looking to ask because I already got enough problems on my hands girl situation wise in this particular summer the That's lady says jog around the block you got to jog around the block so your man can introduce himself yeah but what if some like homo thugs like <laughs> like violated your booty cheeks or something guy you were like shirtless running around in like scarborough man no nah, man because he you just gotta act if if, if some if some homo thugs try to, to to jump off all on my girl then i would just act crazy and homeless and I think I could have pulled that off, shirtless and wet, at 4 a.m. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, because gangsters don't want to rape no homeless man. This is true. Depends on how desperate they are, though, man. If they, like, straight up, if they haven't gotten no booty in a long time, then they'll be like, hey, man. This is a weird look, topic, but... You look mad muscular right now <laughs> in your shirtless, <laughs> with your shirtless body. <laughs> this is a weird topic right now, but, yeah. but the point is, you got to have your friends back, and you got to pre be prepared do some wild and crazy things so your friends can get some booty. You hear that, Renegade? You hear that, Iceman? <laughs> I expect the same type of shit from you guys. You know? Or just if they want to make a connection, because you know it's all about making connections. That's true. But sometimes getting some booty and making a connection are the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> it's all relative, man. It's all relative. <laughs> I'm good, how are you? Good. So you're a teacher now, eh? I know, it's craziness. Like, that's so awesome. Is it? Good time. What are you up to now? The school and like work and stuff. Good. Huh? SB's in the building! Oh no! Oh, is that a new 
Flip camera? Flip. It is a new flip. When did you buy it? Flip, flip camera? Flip. Yeah. Zombies be like, oh, what's this? Tactics and TSB? Is this going to, oh, to yeah, flip? I think it should say, listen, flip right here, cameras are awesome. Y'all didn't believe me, that's my friend. Oh, amazing. This is proof. This is proof. We know Sean. Wait, no, I want some proof too, guys. I want some proof. I want to. I know him too. I don't know who this guy is. It's so awkward right now. I don't know who you are. Start popping it. Start popping it, y'all. Your daughter is in good hands. Don't even worry about I it. I want that shirt, man. <laughs> don't, don't worry about it. Don't even worry about it. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I'm going to add that in. All the, all the moms, all the, all the moms out there, just, no, just so you know, your daughter. It is safe for your daughters, don't worry, man. It's totally in good hands. No, man, it's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe. It's it's safe. Right. It's safe. You know why? No, the dad is there hands. because I am a professional. <laughs> and this is what I do. You and I can't, I can't help that. I take care of daughters. So I'm walking down the street back to my car. Down where the construction is, and someone's using this big drill. We do splashes me, like all up and down, right? And then he looks up at me, and he just goes back to work. Doesn't even, doesn't nod. Right, right. Yo, sorry. He doesn't even say that. He's like, well, whatever. I got a drill. He's like, you, you look homeless anyway. I'm just adding to the peel. I know. I probably did after he splashed me like that. I was dirty all over, so I had to go all the way back to Scarborough. That sucks. So, Sean, you excited for today? Dude, I'm always excited. I'm yeah? excited for today. I was excited for yesterday, and I'm excited for tomorrow. <laughs> that's, that's just how I'm living. Okay? But um, I'm super excited to see reactions from people. It's gonna be when dope. they don't know what to expect, and all of a sudden people start busting out in the subway, in the city, underground, food courts, all that fun stuff. Let's get on this train. I can be a freak. I can 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 I can be a
upside down. Uh, <laughs> you want to see that three up step? Sweet. Yeah. Oh, sorry. <laughs> just finished promoting for Step Up 3D. It was crazy. They had us going all over the city, Dundas Square, dancing it up, freestyling. We battled a little bit. It was hella dope. A lot of people. And it was cool. And apparently we're going to get some swag later. So that's always cool. Shout outs to Sean Byfield. Thank you so much for getting me involved in this dance thing. It was a lot of fun. Very dope. And I am very extremely tired so i'm gonna go home make some craft dinner and get some sleep peace <laughs>